Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. Cammie, it's been a while since you joined us on the couch. I know. Nice I've to been see you. I've a lot to you this summer. So you have, it's yeah. It's really nice to be back. Good doing fun stuff. Mm -hmm. And yeah. we need to say congratulations, yes. Miss Award winner. <laughs> you just won an Thank award you. for your independent film called Pushing Envelope. Yes, and it was the best supporting actress. Which here's the thing, it's a short film and my part was small, so I wasn't, I mean it was a supporting actress obviously, not a lead. So because it was small, like I just didn't even think about it being that big a deal, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But I do it because I love it and actually I shot a segment for one of my favorite things segments not too long ago when we were filming it. I just remember that, yeah. yeah. So yeah. that was the film that I was working on. So That's it's just been a really unexpected blessing. You know what's kind really of funny, Cammy? Though, if you remember the Academy Awards, Dame Judi Dench won a Best Supporting Actress for playing the Queen in Shakespeare in Love, and she had like four minutes of screen time in the entire movie. <laughs> well, four minutes got her an yeah. Academy Award. <laughs> you made a big impact in your short <laughs> screen time. So congratulations. It's the small things that matter, right? That's yes. exactly right. Well, thank you guys. I yes. appreciate that. It yeah. was a lot of fun. I'm sorry we didn't so. have you a cake. Oh, we should have. We should have. Totally. Yeah. Well, next time. Next time. Yeah. 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 Well, today, my favorite thing is, is actually kind of along those lines of using our talents and using the things that we are good at and the things that, that we enjoy and our passions mm -hmm. to help other people. So, I have a little package to show okay. us, a little video here. I've talked to my friend Craig Donaldson and he's sitting down with me right now because I just recently learned that he's going to ride the MS 150, yep. which stands for. Multiple sclerosis, 150. Okay, so it's 150 miles on a yep. bicycle. <laughs> and Craig and I have known each other for how long? Uh, probably close to 30 years, I'd say now. About 30 <laughs> years. <laughs> and we're only 30 years old, so. <laughs> of course. <yeah. laughs> of course. <laughs> Um, but I just want to hear a little bit of the heart behind that. So, Craig, how many times have you ridden? In um, this year will be my fourth year of doing it. Okay. And tell me about the first time you rode this. Why did you decide to do it? First off, I'd, I'd started running and um, training for a marathon, and my knees mm -hmm. kind of basically gave out and just hurt too bad. So, um, I decided to get into cycling. And um, I wanted to kind of find the longest ride that I could find for cycling, and that's where I came found the uh, MS150. So just and to challenge yourself? Yeah, just for the challenge. And uh, um, they had a $200 minimum for fundraising that first um, the first year I did it. Okay. And um, I didn't figure I'd hit that because I hate asking people for money. Yeah. And um, so I went ahead and registered and ended up raising $500, which kind of surprised me. Okay. <laughs> so you told me that you rode the first day and then you were hurting so bad yeah, after that. Yeah, after the, um, the first day, it was 100 miles and um, like everything hurt like so bad. Just even like getting in the car and just touching your arms hurt real bad. And so I got, got back to the hotel and did a little ice bath and everything and went to sleep. And the next morning I woke up and I was still hurting and I got thinking about how I still had to ride 100 miles back that Sunday. and. Kind of really didn't want to do it, honestly. Yeah. And so I'm kind of laying there. I'm thinking, like, we're riding for people that have MS and don't have the option to get up, like when they want to, and might mm -hmm. not feel motivated or just not have the ability to. So I'm, I kind of feel like God has blessed me with pretty good um, energy and health, yeah. and so I, that kind of motivated me to get up and do it that next day for people who couldn't get up and do it. And yeah. I made the choice to get on a bike for 100 miles that I need to go ahead and finish my. Do this. And I kind of felt guilty for kind of making it so selfish, kind of. Mm -hmm. So um, the third year, I decided to kind of focus more on fundraising, and um, kind of hit that hard. I ended up raising close to three thousand dollars that third year. Wow. So you go to church all the, all these years and kind of learn what you're supposed to do, like through the Christian life and whatever. And so I figured I'm going to use something that I enjoy to do to help people mm -hmm. and kind of struggles that they're having. So. Yeah. You know, it's interesting whenever you start doing something for good, and then it's different, though, whenever yeah. you actually see the face and know the names yeah. that you're doing the good for. Yeah. And I love that point that you use something that you like to help other people. Yeah. And I think that we all have something like that. It's just a matter of figuring that out, what it is that you yeah. love to do and how that could affect other people and how you could help other people. And what's your training look like? How long do you train in advance? I usually start 12 weeks in advance. Um, I usually try to ride an hour to an hour and a half a day, and they do longer rides on Saturdays, and they can be up to like 65 miles. How long so. does it take you to go 65 miles? Probably about three and a half hours, give oh. or take. So It's actually not bad. Not too bad. They're moving <laughs> pretty good. So. Okay, so what's that day like? How many people ride an MS-150? What time does it start? There's three to four hundred people registered this year. Um, the race starts at seven, so I'm pretty much getting up 
four thirty to five to get breakfast and get everything packed up and get up there and get ready to go and get all my fundraising stuff turned in and so make sure the bike's ready to go and all aired up and uh, right to you. If someone wants to donate to you, how do they do that? And how long do they have to do that? Um, fundraising goes through October 5th, I believe it is. And okay. you just go to bikems.org and then search for Craig Donaldson and click the donate button and make okay. a donation. Sounds good. <laughs> good for him for doing that. Well, Something here's good. the thing. We all have talents. We all have things that we're mm -hmm. passionate about. So why not figure out how to use those things? Absolutely. And that's what I love. This guy's a good guy. He is a good guy, yeah. <laughs> and, and he admitted his struggles and uh -huh. his, you know, I mean, his body hurt. He didn't really want to make that ride uh -huh. back, but he did it because of the cause. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we all have our thing, you know. I, I really love to cook. I can take meals to people. I can entertain uh -huh. to bless people. Right. Um, we have a house that's big enough to house people. We've housed several people because that's something that I have to offer, you mm -hmm. know. So we all have something that we can offer. Our time, mm -hmm. our time, our company. A lot of people are lonely. There's a lot of lonely people out yeah. there. Absolutely. So. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks, Cammie.